It's evening sometime. Don't know what the signal is like. But I expect the app will let me know at some point. I'm up here in the loft. I don't know why I moved the camera. It's not really going to show you much. The lights are out pretty much at the loft at the moment. But, uh... See if we can take a cue from him again tonight as to a meditation. Uh, he is practicing beginner's meditation, which means get comfortable and then fall asleep. Um, but we have an alternate instructor here up in the loft, which is Harris and the horse. And so Harris may be able to give us some good advice in meditation, too. Especially if Zaki becomes very sleepy. So, well, what are you doing? Yeah, I saw that. I saw you look up. I don't know what's on your mind, buddy. So I am noticing that he has a rounded spine. So I've kind of moved my knees up since I'm on my back and uh, tucked some cushions under my butt and lifted my shoulders off the sort of pillows here. So I'm doing a version of rounding the spine. Yeah, what do you think? Is that a good idea? Yeah. So, I was noticing that looking at him, that the rounded spine seems to kind of uh, embrace the lower center. You know, sort of here and then the lower center here. So it has a sense of kind of a C with a dot in that. It also feels sort of uh, safe, I guess. Thinking that you know the top and bottom of his spine are curled in to embrace the the lower center. Don't know if that's true, but that's what my mind came up with as I was looking at how he was. Now, of course, Harris does not do that. Harris has a pretty straight back. So I don't know who we're going to pay attention to. But uh, I'm just going to see if I can feel the relationship between the lower spine, the upper spine, and the lower center at the Dantian. It may be, you know, it kind of makes me think like a, a bow. You know, it has the top of the bow and the bottom of the bow where the strings are knotted. And then the middle is the arrow, which is about directionality and intent. But of course, Zaki's intent was largely to rest up here, unbothered by me. So I'm probably already messing up his intent. Sorry, buddy. It's actually had some... Good intentions, I thought. To see if we can learn from the guru while he's sleeping. Um. Sorry, Harris. So, uh. The lower center is related to directionality and intent, especially in so far as we might be considering physical movement, locomotion. But since we're all laying on the bed here, as I say that, Saki's getting up off of the bed. <laughs> as I say, laying on the bed, he got up, upped off the bed. But as we're on the bed here, at least Harris and I are backup guru. 
Uh, I think we're considering the potential of locomotion, the potential. So it's it's the held bow, the ready, the knocked arrow, as opposed to actual locomotion and movement. So there's still that intent there. And there's still the relationship between the top and the bottom of the bow. So the Datsui and the Wei Lu of the spine. So I'm still sitting here with a somewhat curled back, not as curled as Mr. Saki here. But more than Harris, did you hear that bunny? I'm sure that I appear crazy. That's all right. Okay. So, try to feel the upper and lower spine working as a unit and how they relate to the center point which we might think of as the Ming Men here or T8 perhaps feeling the roundedness of this the roundedness of the spine in relation to the potential of locomotion, of action, of making real the intention of movement from the lower center. Okay, that feels pretty nice. So that's an interesting sort of an insight that uh, may be available to us. So again, this is just being inspired by something that we're seeing and then meditating into it as opposed to here's this old sacred scroll and then we're reading and following that meditation where we might imagine there's some truth to it or accuracy or scholarship and this is just looking at the cat and saying hey what does that make me think of let me try that presuming it doesn't look dangerous or unhealthy and then just examining that so it isn't starting from a place of knowledge where i know about this relationship between the upper and lower spine how they relate to potential of locomotion in the lower center but it's just like oh that seems possible it could be let's explore that and see what we feel and that's what we did. Thank you very much. From the law.